Hey, welcome to Just Eyeball It. Freaka doesn't actually do anything. This green plastic thing is pretty big ass. Help! If you sing while you're cooking, everything tastes better. Today on our show, we're gonna be cooking eggaroni. Eggaroni is the ultimate cheap people food. You basically just take eggs and a shit ton of spices. If you're trying to make a pizza and don't have any pepperoni, this is perfect for you. The first thing you do is take a bowl and put eggs in it. So which one do you bat on, left or right? It should taste kind of like a McDonald's breakfast sausage. If it doesn't, you're doing something wrong. Cracking an egg on the side of the bowl like this is the way you're supposed to do it. Yeah, this one's dead. But it's much less fun. Next, beat the eggs together till they're one color. Egg yolks taste bitter. Fun fact about eggs. Eggs, like this one, come from a chicken's butt. Next, take a break and have a snack. I'm gonna have a strawberry. Mmm. Be sure to wash it. Otherwise the GMOs might kill you. After you're done stuffing your face, put a whole shit ton of ingredients in with those eggs. Or give it superpowers. You're gonna need things like olive oil, rosemary, some paprika, flax seeds, and either cornstarch or flour. Eggaroni is basically just proof that there's no rules to cooking. Next thing you do is put all that shit into the eggs. Do what you want, man. Do what you want. All the foil. It tastes great because it's all the foil. I'm not gonna tell you how much to put in. Paprika is actually a character on Blue's Clues, I think. Because I really have no idea. But then again, I was six when I was on. Paprika doesn't actually do anything. Da -da 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 -da. If stuff sticks to the bowl like this, that's okay. Macaroni, will you rosemary me? Rosemary is pretty much the only useful spice in the kitchen. Salt and pepper make everything better. Cayenne pepper makes everything better. <laughs> Help! It's stuck to the roof of my mouth. <laughs> and they spray this shit in people's eyes. And now we know how those kids at UC Davis felt. Pretty damn shitty. When you're cooking cayenne pepper, don't use much. Next, we're gonna use an ingredient that I've never used before. Cornstarch. Cornstarch is actually pretty useless. But using flour kinda works better. Try to mix everything as evenly as possible. If it looks like the product of open bar night downtown, you're doing something right. Flax seeds are just in there to make it look good. I have flour on my pants, don't I? Huh. It looks pretty much finished. When you're done stirring, it should look something like this. So the first thing you do is make sure that your pot's actually greased. Yeah, you should probably do that. If you want to start a fire, leave that olive oil next to the burner. This green plastic thing is pretty kick-ass. I grow this awesome because it's like meat for vegetarians. So before putting in, you might want to stir it up a little bit. Then you just pretty much throw it in any which way. If you've made pancakes, this should be easy. You should smack a pancake with bacon. You're gonna have to flip it at some point. If this shit sticks to the bottom, it'll be ruined. Don't screw up. Whoa! I figure if I put myself in the persona of an Italian, I'll be able to flip this better. Doesn't this look like a pancake? It's pretty much like a pancake. Tastes like breakfast sausage. Most of the time you save this for something that would call for pepperoni. L is for the lettuce on this plate. Like a pizza or a sandwich. E is for more lettuce on this plate. But today we're just gonna eat it. T is very, very, uh. So we're gonna need to add something to that plate. Try angularly. If you don't eat fruits and vegetables, you'll get scurvy. Arr. When you go grocery shopping, you always buy a shit ton of stuff that's on special. Like strawberries. When you're done making your food look sexy as fuck, take a picture and post it on Facebook. 
I take pictures of my food to torture people with them. So yeah, it should look like this. I think this pineapple's finally ripe. Thank you for joining us on today's episode of Just Eyeball It. Remember to rate, comment, and subscribe, and tune in next week for something. I don't know, maybe I'll cook tofu. It should be interesting because you have to sit on it to get the water out of it. Uh, and most people can't cook it worth the shit, so it'll be really interesting for them. Or maybe I'll just go to McDonald's.